today's video, I'll show you how to create a custom draw navigator using React Navigation. This is how it'll look. We have a draw navigator here, which has an image on the top and two icons along with the names. And also we have a button here, which opens up the draw navigator. So let's begin. So here in front of me, I have an empty project that I created with Expo. To start out with, we need two libraries as always. One is a UI library called Native Base, and the other one is React Navigation, obviously, to use the draw navigator. So let's just quickly install these. So open up your favorite terminal. I'm going to use the one in Visual Studio Code. Here, type in npm install React Navigation, and then type in npm install Native Base. I'm not going to be installing both of these because they're already installed in my application. Once they both are installed, we're good to go. So let's start by importing the draw navigator here. So we'll say import draw navigator from react navigation. Next, come down here at the bottom and let's create our draw navigator. So we'll say constant my app is equal to draw navigator. Here we'll say home which will point to the home screen. And we create a settings tab, which will point to the settings screen. So let's first create these two screens. So in the home screen.js, we'll import the basic React component, call this home screen. And we'll import certain things that we need from native base. So we'll say import Once you've got these things imported, let's come here into the render method, get rid of that. And we'll put in here a container, which is similar to a view. Inside that we'll put in a content. And here we'll just create a text and call it home screen. Next, just copy all of this out, create a new file, call it settings screen.js. Here we'll just paste in the data that we copied. Just change the name of the class. And here we'll change this to settings screen. Now we have our two files ready. Let's import them in here in the app.js. So we'll say import home screen from home screen and import settings screen from settings. Now if we refresh this, if we slide from the left, we have our draw navigator and obviously the text is going outside. We can just correct that. So here we'll just add some uh, styles to the content. In native base to add styles to the content, you need to add a content container style instead of just a style. The content is similar to a view. So here we just put in flex one, align items center and justify content center. And we'll just copy these into our settings screen. And just refresh this. So there we see the home screen is there in the middle. You can open up the draw navigator, click on settings, takes us to the settings screen. So our draw navigator is working. Now it's time to start customizing our draw navigator. First, we'll put in a header into our screens, which has a button on the left to open the draw navigator. So come here to the top inside the container. We'll put in something known as a header. As you may remember, we've imported header on the top here from native base. Inside the header, we'll put this element called left. And inside that, we'll put in an icon. Name of the icon will be iOS menu. And on press, what it will do is, it'll open up the draw navigator. So we'll say on press equal to this dot props dot navigation dot navigate. And we'll call draw open. Let's just close out the sidebar. And then let's just copy this into our home screen as well. So there we can see we've got a header on top and we've got a menu icon. If we click on it, the sidebar opens up. So that's exactly what we wanted. Now it's time to customize this draw navigator. So come to the app.js and here we'll create our custom draw. So we'll say constant custom draw content component 
is equal to pass in the props and inside here what we'll say is we'll create a container a header inside the header we'll put in a body and that will put in an image so we'll get the source of the image and say require I've already got the image in my assets folder it's just the logo and also give the image a height and a width so we'll put in a style saying styles to draw image just need single brackets and we'll create these here at the bottom so at the bottom here we'll say draw image we'll just say height we'll say height of 150 we're in width of 150 and a border radius as well of 75 so that it becomes round and here these are components from native base so we must import them here at the top so we'll say import container content header body and icon from native base and image comes from react native so we'll put it in here So now we've just created a custom component. Let's display it in the draw navigator. As of now, it doesn't show here. So coming down here in your draw navigator, we'll put in a comma here. We need to firstly put in an initial route name, which is mandatory. So we'll call it home. Next, we'll put in the content component, which is a property provided to us by React Navigation. And in that, we'll put in our custom draw component. And then we need three other properties, which I'm just going to paste in here, which are also mandatory. So they are draw, open route, close route and toggle route, which point to the particular methods, which are already available in React Navigation. But when you're customizing the draw navigator, you must put them in here. So let's save this out now. And we see we get an error here because I made a very basic mistake. And that is with the brackets. These should be rounded brackets and not curly brackets. That's why nothing is being returned to us. So let's save that again. And now if we open this up, we see that we're getting the image, but obviously it's not inside the header. That's because we just need to put in another style to our header. So let's say style equal to, just put in the height here only. So it's a height of 200. So now if we open it, we'll see there we've got a header, which is a height of 200. It's got an image inside it, but our drawer items are missing. So let's just put in our drawer items here. So React Navigation provides us with a simple method to put it in. We just put in another content and inside that we just need to put something known as drawer items. And there we just spread in the props. That is, it'll bring out all the items that are there in the list and display them. But make sure to import drawer items here from React Navigation. So let's say drawer items. Now if we save that out, we see we're getting our items here and we're getting an image here. We can also change the background color of the draw to white. And all we need to do is put in the icons for the list items. So let's do that. Come to the home screen. Here we'll configure the navigation options. So it says static navigation options is equal to. Inside that we'll set the drawer icon. Pass in the image of the icon that we want to show. So it's a source equal to require the asset from assets folder. Also give it a style height of 24 width of 24 because that fits in perfectly. And this needs two brackets. And if we save that out, let's see if that works. I need to import in the image here as well. And as you can see, we've got a home icon here. The same thing we'll do for the setting screen. We'll just copy this, go to the setting screen, paste it in here. That icon is called settings. And here, import in image, save that out. And there you can see we've got our custom header with our custom images with our drawer items. There are a lot of more configurations that you can do with your drawer navigator. But now you must have understood that all you need to basically do is configure the draw navigator just like any other page. And all you need to pass in is the drawer items to show them.